Welcome to the Treehouse test day for our LED screen shoot using the Unreal Engine from the awesome Epic Games. Uh, should be a pretty cool day. Uh, so we've been looking at shooting using LED screen uh, technology and the Unreal Engine from Epic Games. Um, we saw their test, we saw the Unreal uh, Engine test uh, online and really thought it was a great tool for us to be able to use. From a producing perspective, when you look at the kind of budgets that we're working with at the moment, and we've got vehicles in shots and traveling shots, the kind of turnaround times that we can get using the LED screens in the Unreal Engine are incredible. Um, the reset times alone, just to travel up and down one piece of road if we were on a low loader, it's just gonna take up so much of our time. Uh, the beauty of it as well, from, from, you know, for the director, is that some of those things that just happen in real time when you've got the environment working with you, um, and just those little gems that you get down the lens uh, are, are really exciting uh, to have happen on set. You've got the freedom to be able to move the camera, sort of just tweak it a little bit and move it wherever it is that you need to move it. Um, whereas you might have those other sort of restrictions if you're traveling at the time and you know, on, on low loads and what have you. Get away from the swipe. Yeah, good, nice. One of the things we're really keen to do with this is try and make it available to the masses. You don't have to have a huge budget to do this. You can work this on a pretty modest budget. And what's been fantastic since we started to look into the, this kind of technology is the people and the services that have kind of come together and really supported us through it. I mean, Epic Games have been fantastic, sort of guiding us through the process. Uh, we've also had fantastic support from the likes of Take Two for all our kit. We're shooting on the Red Ranger today in large format, which is something else that we're looking at and, and how the marriage of that and the LED screens and the Unreal Engine um, can really work. And we're pretty impressed with what we've seen so far. We've had Pro Studio higher lens for the lighting, and we've got to say a huge thank you as well, of course, to the guys at iMag Displays who've uh, just basically provided us with shooting at their place today. They provided us with the screens, uh, they've been incredibly helpful throughout the process and supportive. So, um, for us to be able to experiment with all this stuff and with the support of others, it's just, it's just great. Um, we're really looking forward to going into production on this hopefully next year. It's been a special day because this project really has been sort of a long time coming you know it's an idea that I came up with a long time ago um, and obviously you know through the years the stories evolved the characters evolved but one of the things that has remained is this concept of these set pieces inside a car that the camera never leaves the car and yet we have these sort of cat and mouse style uh, chases and car crashes but the camera always stays inside the vehicle in fact I would even say maybe the idea was built around that notion of like wouldn't it be cool to have these sort of uh, big chase sequences all inside a car when I thought of that, it was instantly going to be like green screens or something. You know, it's taken a long time to get here because of the, you know, life and just the, the story itself evolving. Um, we came across this technology about four months ago and it just made perfect sense. We were like, this is, this is exactly what we need. You know, we, it, we need to do it this way. It's the only way to do it. And so today was all about, is it going to work? You know, because we don't have the budgets of Disney or, Netflix or anything like that right now, we're just testing this stuff out. The great thing about doing it this way is that we can see immediately if it's working or not and we're very happy with the results that we've got. I can't wait to cut it together, put some sound on it and see, you know, have we created a really genuinely quite terrifying little moment in a car. Amazing people to come together, all this crew here today, um, all the companies that have come together to let this happen, uh, just, just in that sort of enthusiasm for a film like this you know the idea is is like you know, we want to make a dual Hitchcock kind of thriller with this technology and everyone's like yeah that sounds cool so we're really excited about where it goes from here so yeah good day this is a, 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 a tracking marker that basically maps the, the movement of the camera um, and the space around it corresponding to sensors that are placed into the area uh, so basically it speaks to these sensors saying the camera now is pointing down or pointing up and then that maps out coordinates to the screens which then move the virtual camera. We've been doing the environments uh, in the Unreal Engine uh, and the advantage of uh, real-time rendering is that we can make changes on the fly. So for example when we came to the shoot we were determined it was going to be sunset, we looked at it and actually Midday sun looks amazing, so we just changed it like that. The other thing we can do is have a car crash in complete safety and we can animate it out using real life physics uh, and it just looks amazing. So we reached out to the guys at Unreal and they said, Look, we've got this great academy, just learn how to create an environment, to animate, all within about a month. 
we've managed to go from no experience at all with um, real-time rendering in a game engine to then um, being able to create an environment, put on a screen and act in front of it. And this is the future of, uh, of, of shots like this because you can just get so much that you wouldn't be able to get in the budget levels that we're looking at. It's really exciting. Everything from the cameras coming in at 8K, which is fantastic because it's, you know, it's, it's large format, it looks fantastic, you can punch in. <laughs> quite a lot before you see any uh, see any pixel. I'm really happy with what we're seeing and what we're getting. I'm, I'm ready to say goodbye to green screen. Every little reflection from you know the sides of his glasses, just the, the highlights um, of the skin tones and everything. When a tree goes by, this is something that you really can't do if you are shooting um, on green screen or if you're you know, uh, rotoscoping and replacing the background plate. It's very difficult to get a relationship between what you're seeing in the background and the reflections and the way that the lighting sort of bounces around and affects all of the subjects in frame. It just makes it look real and you've got something to edit to as well. It's much easier to have a, an emotional reaction when you're putting an edit together, if everything's there in frame, ready for you. It's exciting, it's really exciting.